Greetings and welcome to Monster Legends and another special feeding episode. This time we're going to be feeding a young lady we picked up at the currently ending, very soon actually, Hidden Creatures Maze. It was the only legendary that I got, but it was the one that I was targeting. And this is... Montauk Creature! And unfortunately she has some rune slot issues. Well, you know, if she's worth it, we may take care of that. Um, the next time they have a discount, pretty much for sure. So let's just find a home for her. All right, she's going to be hanging out with these ladies. What could go wrong? Okay, I thought she was running, but she uh, was dropping the hammer down on them. Okay, so where is she here? Okay, Bada. That's actually not such a bad name, really. Might keep that one. Depends. Anyway, this is again, we have the Monta creature. She is a legendary. She's darkness. Oh, she's got this guy here, isn't she? Yes. So she is immune to possession, nightmares, and bleeding. Not bleed. Bleeding. With an ING at the end. All right, let's take a look at some stats. Okay, I'm guessing that she's getting a really nice buff at the moment because I see her stamina is 154. So we're going to have to take these with a grain of salt. Um, it looks like her power and speed are equal to each other. Pretty much. They're pretty much equal. So they might be good anyway. Life is probably going to end up being middle of the road. It's a little hard to tell whenever they're, uh, whenever they're uh, getting buffed like that. You know, you can't really tell until the buff is gone how good they are. She's looking at me. I says, I'm good. Can you see that? Don't mess with me. I'll hurt you. All right. So anyway, let's take a look at some skills because why not? All right, we got a physical attack here, low physical to one enemy, a known secret. And then we have from the woods, deals moderate dark damage to one enemy. Okay, so she's got, she's from the woods too. She's going to get along great with Baba Yaba. Yes, she is. All right, this faceless hag, she's really going to get along with Baba Yaba, isn't she? This faceless hag is the stuff of nightmares and can torment her enemies in their sleep. She comes from the world of the dead. To bring confusion and terrifying hallucinations. She is so greatly feared that many are afraid to fall asleep, which makes them progressively weaker. Yeah, I really think she'd get along great with Baba Yaba. I mean, she can just weaken them, and then, you know, like Baba Yaba can actually, you know, like, stew them up in a nice, you know, stew pot, you know. Teamwork! Teamwork! Well, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I can put them together in the future. It turns out I had to upgrade uh, uh, one, of the, one of the habitats over there. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to put her with Baba Yaba. All right, so anyway, let's, uh, she's at the little one right now and certainly is not the stuff of nightmares. She's far too cute for that. So let's get her up to level four. Okay, she's a teen now. Yeah, she's starting to turn into the stuff of nightmares. But then all teenagers are, aren't they? All right, so let's go to level six and um, the first of her skills, which I'm sure are horrible to our enemies. Portal of Two Hallucinations. 50% chance of applying stun and guard down to one enemy. Okay, that can be very useful. You know, you're stunned and just stand there while my guys beat on you. All right, we're going to take that, mostly because we have no choice. All right, let's continue to level 10. And her next skill... Soul Doorway. Deals moderate dark damage to one enemy. 50% chance of applying blind. Okay, she's going to be doing some blinding. She's going to be doing some blinding. This is useful. Blinding is very good. All right, let's continue. Blinding is not too good for our enemies. Level 15. A peek into the universe. Deals moderate special damage to one enemy. 50% chance of applying guard down to one enemy. That could be okay, but... I hope she's got more than that. I would like to see that along with something else. You know, even if it's simply applying, you know, uh, damage reduction or something like that. It's just by itself, it just doesn't seem to be very useful. I mean, it's not a bad hit early on, but I'd like to see it along with something else. Like we saw with the first one. Matter of fact, I'm just going to throw it in there. I mean, stunning guard down, I could see that. Although, you would have to think if something is stunned, it's pretty easy to hit. Just me. All right, let's continue to level 20 and her next skill, which is Vacuum Gaze. Deals heavy special damage to one enemy, applies guard down to one enemy. All right, you know, even if that isn't so great, it's still a good 
solid special damage hit with a one round cooldown. I am going to put that there. I don't know what else she's got, but you know what? I don't mind keeping that as a final one if she's got some other stuff, you know? Low cooldown, good hit, special damage. Don't have a problem with that. The guard down is just kind of an extra thing. Okay, you're going to come back? Thank you, because you're about to become an adult. Because her final evolution is at level 25. Spirit's Entry deals very heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies blind to one enemy. That is also not a bad hit at all. I think that we had this one. Why don't we just upgrade it? It's actually a low stamina cost there, too. That's not so bad. All right, there she is! Isn't she wonderful? That's all I'm going to say when I'm in the same room with her. All right, let's continue to level 30. Portal to Nightmares. Deals heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies stun to one enemy. That's not too bad. Well, I'm going to get rid of this one because that's not really very useful. But I see a lot of single target attacks. I don't know if that means we're going to end up making choices in the end. I would take stun over everything else, thank you. Um, but I would like to keep... Yeah, you know, it's... I, I hope that stuff comes up. All right, right now I'm going to put that there because there's no way of keeping that. No. And I might end up keeping that one so I don't want to put it in the first spot because I'm kind of hoping something shows up, you know, that hits a lot of guys. We'll see. Maybe at level 35. Portal to Horrors. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies. Applies stun to all targets. Hello! You're going in there? Absolutely. Very good skill. Definitely a very good skill. What was the cooldown on that? That's a two-round cooldown. That's not too bad at all. Not at all. All right, so let's hope that we can continue to uh, get some upgrades that hit everybody. That would be nice. I mean, it's only level 35. I'm sure she's got some other stuff coming. Let's see what it is. Level 40. Observe the infinite. Activate all cooldowns on one enemy. Ooh. Well, you know what? I uh, apply stun, blindness. Okay, let's let's look at this. I, I I would really like to keep a special attack, just because I don't want I don't want her to have all darkness hits. A single target stun is just so nice. Um, it comes down to this. Which do I want more? St a single target stun or, or a single target blind? Well, you know what? The blind actually does more damage, doesn't it? I mean, this is not bad. I don't mind keeping this. This is what am I giving up for it, you know? I mean, I have a group stun. Do I want to? But a single target stun is still very useful. I mean, if you miss somebody or they are hardened and they resist it, you know, 30%, you might want to reapply it or something like that. Or maybe, like, maybe you have somebody who possessed a lot of the guys in your group. One of them, uh, one of them resisted it, and you just want to stun that one. Stuns can be very useful. Blinds are good, but stuns are very useful. Now, this one does do more damage. But the way I'm thinking about this is I don't think she's going to be a damage dealer. Her speed and her strength were power were the same. Pretty much identical. So I don't think she's going to be a damage dealer. So I have to think more in terms of the effects. All right, it's like I was just saying, which is more important anyway? The damage or the effect? The effect. So I'm going to put it here. I'm hoping something comes up that can... Uh, change things, you know? I mean, I, I'm not really overly happy with a single target version of one of those, but, I mean, they can be very useful, especially against some creatures. All right, so let's just go on to level 45. Vacuum gaze deals... Yeah, well, no, we, we just, we just kind, of, kind of got rid of that one. All right, let's continue to level 50. She might have one more thing, I don't know, hopefully. Okay, Wrath's Gate. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies blind to all targets. Well, that takes care of that, because we're putting that one right there. Okay, so she's got a group blind and a group stun. 
right? And then we're going to have this one, which resets cooldowns, and this one, which is an extra stun. I really do think she's done. I think she's done. Level 55, though. Vacuum gaze. No, 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 no. And you know what it just reminds me? Is that we did not look at her special skill. That's what we're going to do as soon as we hit level 60. Spirits away. No, no. Good hit, but you know what? She's got low cooldowns, so I really don't need any more one cooldown ones, you know? All right, so let's just look at what I forgot to look at, which was her special skill. This is the second time it slipped my mind. I must be getting old. Anyway, special skill. Size is relative. Deals massive special damage to all enemies. Applies possession to all enemies. Quite useful. Quite very useful. That's her only possession, though. And confusion. It did mention in her dis her uh, description about confusion. I was really thinking she would have at least a single target possession. But she doesn't. But, you know... Stunning and blinding. Let's face it, that creates confusion, right? But that's a very, very good. Uh, that's a very good special skill. Special skills like that are the kinds that can turn battles. You know, pretty darn useful. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats. Yeah, they're identical, aren't they? You know, the power and the speed. Life. It's it's getting all getting a big buff right now. She's probably around ten thousand, maybe a little above ten thousand. The power and the speed, probably 2,100 each, which means they're kind of like, okay, they're not terrific. Um, what is terrific is her skills. Her skills are very good. Of course, her trait makes her very, very useful in certain situations. So, you know, if you, you, know, you have something that's going to do some possessing, well, nope, not on this one. Nope, nope, immune to possession, nightmares, and bleeding. So that can be very useful against certain opponents. All right, so let's take a look at her skills. All right, these are pretty darn nice, if you ask me. So let's start with Portal to Horrors. Deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies stun to all targets. So if the target is not immune to stun, or hardened and resists it, and she doesn't miss, she's going to stun them. This is a good thing. This, al this is good denial. This allows your, uh, your team to do all kinds of terrible things. She can also follow up with the one I have in last place, but we're going to go to the next one. Observe the Infinite. Now, this one you could probably take or leave and maybe throw in one of the single target, um, the blind or the guard down one that I stuck. But I figured, you know, this one could be useful. And given her other skills, I think I could fit it in. Anyway, this is going to activate all the cooldowns on an enemy. There are some monsters whom this will really hurt. Because if the um, person who bred the creature, who you know, who, who, whose creature, they probably picked a lot of really good skills. Some creatures have very high cooldown skills. So if you do this, they won't be able to do anything for a couple of rounds. That can be very, very devastating. So that is a really good skill. And of course, if you have something like a Tamarian, something that's a relic, stun won't work on them. Blindness won't work on them. This will work on them. This will work on them. Because this is an effect. Just just goes in and goes, <sniffs> all your cooldowns are set. Which can be very disastrous. All right, we'll go to the next one. Portal to Nightmares. This is the only single target damage I chose. And, of course, it's the stun. Stuns are very good. There was another one for blindness. Yeah, that's good, but I will have a stun. And there was another one that had guard down, which was special damage. That was kind of the reason I was thinking about it. But you know what? I'd rather have the effect. I'd much rather have the effect. All right, so the last one, of course, is Wraith's Gate. And this, was, this one deals moderate dark damage to all enemies, applies blind to all enemies, and requires a cooldown. It's only a two-round cooldown. Her cooldowns are pretty good, except for Observe the Infinite. You know, this one, blindness, the entire group. Same thing. Got to miss, got to be immune to it. Got to be hardened and resisted. Otherwise, you guys are blind. It's, it's a very good accuracy reduction. The other team will miss a lot, especially if you compound it with something like dazing, and they do stack together. So anyway, she's got a lot of really good stuff for messing around with the other team. You know, she can stun all of them. She can blind all of them. And then she had single targets for stun and blindness. I chose to stun. And this one, of course, resetting the cooldowns. All very, very useful. You know, you probably, maybe considering her um, denial, 
you could easily consider her denial. I mean, her speed is not terrific, so I don't know if you'd want to be um, primary denial with that, because the way it kind of works is when you put ruins on them to enhance their um, stats, it's going to like add a percentage. So generally speaking, you want something that's really fast. And remember, her stats are currently being heavily boosted. So I don't know. You might want to have her as a contributing one. Have like serious denial at the front, and maybe she goes back and as a second round does the stunning, does the blinding, that kind of thing. It could be very useful, though, and her protection against possession is also kind of useful. If you know the team you're going to be fighting has a, uh, a primary denial who's possessing, well, you know, she's immune to it, as long as it's not like hacking or something like that, right? So anyway, she's, uh, she's pretty darn good. She's, I'm sure she's a good part of a darkness team. Um, the only thing I would say is that I have so many darkness ones that I don't know whether or not I'd actually get a chance to use her or not. But uh, when, the, the, when the time comes around to open up rune slots, I probably will at least, I'll probably open up her rune slots, you know. I don't know if I would put all speed on her. Just like I said, I don't see her as primary denial, even though her skills are good. It's just a matter of the speed, you know. It's just a matter of the speed. But uh, you could put some damage on her, I suppose. But um, it really depends on how you decide to play her. Primary, de primary denial or maybe a secondary one who goes in and does damage as well. So anyway, she's very good, and we'll be testing her sometime in the future. So anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it, and play games, because games are fun. See ya.